Today we're going to be talking about the sloshing machine, a high damage weapon with a medium fire rate. The sloshing machine has an effective damage range of 2.5 meters and a direct hit will do 76 damage. It also has a splash damage effect that will do 38 damage and can hit shots up to 3.3 meters or around the main blast radius. The fire rate of the weapons may be slower than most bullet weapons but the high damage and accuracy will let you get splats fast. The inking capability of this weapon is low and will not be able to ink large areas fast. But shooting at your feet can give you an inked area to manoeuvre about in. And you have the capabilities to fill in a splat zone. The fact the weapon does such high damage only needing one direct hit to someone is very useful but can quickly take out enemies that are trying to sneak up on you. The weapon also has its splash damage effect which has the benefit of hitting multiple enemies. The shot will drop down once it has travelled so far. This makes it useful for hitting enemies that are hidden behind walls or on ledges above you. Its range is longer than most of the bullet weapons and outranging them, even if it's just a splash damage, will give you a big advantage against them. The weapon does have a slow fire rate and this can be bad when you don't have a lot of turf on your side. You will not be able to create the turf needed to get away and the slow fire rate will be bad at close range. You might not be able to get off two shots before being splattered by a fast spray weapon. Also, the low mobility of the weapon is a disadvantage at close range, so try and avoid close range fights if possible. The sub weapon is the fizzy bomb, which is great for the sloshing machine. It is relatively cheap and you will still be able to get a few shots off after using it. A direct hit with a fizzy bomb paired with a direct hit of the sloshing machine can result in a fast splatter combo. This bomb can also be used to clear an objective or create distance between rushing opponents so that you won't have to fight them at close range. The bomb also leaves an ink trail when being thrown which you can use to push people. The special is the Booyah Bomb which is a very powerful special and can be used to swing a match in your favour. The special will be gained at a slower rate than most other specials in the game so use it wisely. When using the Booyah Bomb you will have armour but a fast spray weapon such as the Aero Spray will be able to break this armour and splat you before you get the Booyah Bomb off so use it from a relatively safe location. When you use it, you can build up the booyah bomb quicker by spamming the booyah button and your teammates booyahs will help build it up faster too. It can be used to force backline opponents out of their positions such as heavy splatlings and charges. Or it can be used to delay an enemy push so you can get to the objective faster. It can be used on an objective such as a splat zone or a tower to force opponents out and capture it. The gear that I would recommend for this weapon is Ink Saver Main and Ink Saver Sub because the weapon go through ink fast and having more can always be helpful. Quick Super Jump and Stealth Jump to get into the action quicker and undetected. You can use Run Speed and Swim Speed Up to help with the weapon's low mobility. Ink Resist Up can also be useful because it's bad at turfing, you will then be able to fight opponents in their turf better. And also, special charge up so that you can get that booyah bomb just that bit quicker. These are gear slots that I would recommend and what works for me. You should test the weapon and find out what works for you. If you have enjoyed and this has been helpful, leave a like and consider subscribing. Tell me what weapon I should cover next. Until next time, see ya.